Well planned is half done. Starting with good design for your speaker project may implement great results at the end. There is two key things to think about in your subwoofer or speaker cabin design, especially if this is your first build. Get the air volume right. Too small air volume for your project mostly hurts low bass output. If you can measure first how much space you have and choose bigger drivers that work for that space. It is better to have more than less air volume of the recommended. Also note that board and braces take up space. So what should be the box volume? Go with the speaker elements manufacturer's recommended size or check my next video for how to do a custom design. If you have old speakers that you are going to do a makeover and you don't know the parameters for, measure old volume and use that. Easy trick to measure volume in liters is to use decimeters. Example this subbox is 82.5 cm wide, so that is 8.25 decimeters. That times 3.1 for the depth, times 3.4 decimeters for the height, and you get the straight to the liters, in this case about 87 liters. Or if we need 200 liter box, divide that by our width 10 decimeters minus the thickness of the wood 0.4 decimeters times height without wood sheet thickness 4.4 decimeters and that gives out how far that box needs to come from that back wall. And it is with wood about 5.1 decimeters, so that is 51 centimeters. Also one important thing is that cabin is tight with no holes and all the seams are good so that air volume can function proper. 2. Vented box tuning. Getting the vented box right is harder and more complex than sealed, but rewards can be amazing. Vended utilizes also the back side of the bass driver for the sound that is coming to the listening area. That gives opportunity for much more bass for given speaker size and price. Before you just drill holes for all your speaker boxes, plan if that driver is going to work for the vented box and which size of enclosure and port it needs. Speaker driver manufacturer probably has recommendations. If you are chasing already existing design, note that both the cabin air volume and the port size terminates the system tuning. And for the reflex port, if the area of the vent increases, so has the length to keep the tuning same. Example, you got factory made vented box, but you want to change the shape of it. And also the port is little stuffy sounding, so you want to make it larger. First, we measure the old designs inside the air volume. Then we measure the port area and the length. We can use calculator at MH Audio to plug our numbers in and see the supposed tuning of our system. And then use that tuning to measure our new port length with this calculator. We just put our new one the diameter and we get the length. Notice that this length doubled for the same tuning because our actual area here doubled. Now we have our new port size. Just measure how much that will take up space and what the dimension of the outside box will be. You might have a little room to make the tuning slightly lower and the box larger, but it will be a shot in the dark. For the good custom design, you need driver parameters and calculation software. In the next video, we will see one of the easiest ways to design your own custom speaker enclosures.